be using this uh, high fluted end mill here, okay? And I need to check the diameter on it because it's been reground, and I'm also using it for a finishing cutter, all right? So uh, a simple way to check a five flute, three flute end mill is right in your machine. What I've done here is set a zero right here on the shank, okay? Then I set a zero on my readout. So now I'm going to just lift the cutter up until I get to the flutes. All right, and then we're just going to check the flutes until we get to zero and see what the readout says. surprising that some of the flutes aren't, yeah, they're pretty close. Let's go back a little bit. All right, so now we look at the readout. Eight thousandths on the Y. So we know the shank is 750 thousandths diameter. Then we're going to take that 8 thousandths and multiply it by 2. 16 thousandths from 750 is going to give us a uh, 734 diameter to plug into our control there, okay? Now, a couple other little things. I know uh, we all get trained in the, in the trade originally. We used to always buy these magnetic bases. I understand when you have to go upside down and put something up here on your, on your spindle. But a lot of times I just use my Merkins base for something like this. It's not going anywhere. And uh, I already had this set up on my surface plate, all right? So there's no sense in tearing this down just to put a magnet right on my vise uh, when this Merkin surface game works just as well, okay? So that's today's uh, little tip on how to check a three or five flute uh, end mill diameter just using an indicator in your readout.